In this video, we'll create a responsive image slider using only HTML and CSS. So we won't be using any JavaScript. And the cool thing about this slider is no matter how wide or narrow we flex our web browser's screen uh, up to or down to, it's always going to take up 100% of the screen because it's responsive, along with a little bit of margin to either side of the image slider. Okay, so in the description of this video will be the pure CSS image slider starter files that we'll need to get started with the tutorial. So we'll have index.html and then an image folder. So I'm going to be using Sublime Text as my free text editor to build the image slider in the HTML file. And then I'll have it open with Google Chrome as we're developing it. So inside of the image folder you'll find all three images that we'll be using in the tutorial. Okay, so let me move over to Sublime Text and we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm just going to type in a little bit of text here into the body section of index.html to make sure it's connected to Google Chrome. And there we have the A text. Alright, so let's start with our first tag. So the first thing that we're going to add is a div ID and let's call it slider. And then we can drop down and close out the div. And the next thing that we'll add will be a figure tag. Okay, and now we'll add our image content here inside of the figure tag. So image source and then img forward slash since we're in the image folder. And then we'll add desk.png as the first image in our image slider. So what I'm going to do to speed this up a little bit is I'm just going to copy and paste this uh, four different times because we'll be using five images. but let's just make the second one desk 2 and the fourth desk 3 so we don't necessarily need five images and we can just use these three okay so now if we go to the Google Chrome where we're editing it here uh, we'll see all five images laid out for us right here so we have the first one repeating twice but we have the others in between so we can um, see the slides better once we get it moving here. Alright, so let's get started with our CSS by referencing div ID slider. Alright, so pound slider or hashtag slider and then we'll say overflow hidden so it stays within the page. As you can see now we have a little bit of a white border to the right hand side and now let's reference our figure tag. So the div ID slider then figure and we're going to say position relative and then we're going to give it a width of 500 percent and then we're going to say margin zero and then left zero so it's pushed all the way off to the left all right except for the um, the inherent margin that the uh, the body of the web browser gives us Okay, so now let's use the CSS3 style called animation. So you can go ahead and write animation, and our animation is going to last 20 seconds. We're going to name it slider, and then we'll say infinite so it never stops. All right, so if we were to go to our finished image slider here, we'll find that it takes 20 seconds to run through all of the slides. All right, so now let's go ahead and style our image. So slider ID, figure, and then IMG for image. So what we want to do is divide 100% by 5, since we have 5 Im images, which is 20. And then we'll say float left. So now if we refresh, it's going to get rid of this extra space over here. And we'll only see 20% of the overall uh, figure here meaning one image. Okay, so now we can go ahead and add our keyframes. Okay, so at keyframes and this will allow us to animate our slider. So first what we're going to write is at 0% we want it to be left 0 and then at 20% we also want it to be left 0. So what we're saying here is when we're seeing the full first image um, at 0%, we want it to reset so it's left 0 all the way to the left at the start of our image slider and we also want it to do 
the same thing at 20%. Okay, so now let's drop down to 25%, which will bring us to the next slide, and we'll say left negative 100%. All right, so it's going to shift 100% over to the left. And as you can see, it's slowly going to go back to, to reset at 0% right now. All right, so now let's go ahead and reference the 45% mark. And then if we refresh, it's going to shift us over to the second one. Okay, and then it's slowly going to go back over again at 100%. Okay, so now let's drop down and say 50% left negative 200%. And then we'll also add 70% uh, left negative 200%. Okay, so now let's go ahead and refresh our image slider. And we'll stay at... 0 for 0 percent 20 percent then we have 25 percent 45 percent 50 percent 70 percent for the third image in our image slider then it's going to bring us back to zero percent all right so now let's drop down and let's say 75 percent and we're going to say left negative 300 percent and then 95 percent and left 300%. Okay, so now let's go ahead and refresh, and we're going to get eventually to the fourth slide. So now we're on the second, third, okay, and now the fourth image slide. Lastly, let's go ahead and add our style to get to the fifth image slide. So let's say 100% and then left negative 400%. Okay, and now let's go ahead and refresh. So one thing that you're going to notice is that it's going to reset to the first slide once we land on the fifth slide. All right, so here we are on the number three and then we'll be on number four. So you want to have the first image and the fifth image in the slide the same image. Okay, so right now we're on the fifth and it's transferred back to the first and now we're on the second slide. All right, so make sure that you make the first and last slide the same image and then it will continuously go in rotation. All right, so I want to thank you for sticking around with me for this pure CSS responsive image slider tutorial. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, and turn on your notifications. Then I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.